Welcome back the details. President Abdel Fattah Sisi honored Olympic champions of Tokyo 2020. The president granted Olympic karate gold medal winner Firiel Ashraf and her coach Heni Shaker with the first degree, degree merit of honor in sports. He awarded Olympic champion Ahmed Usama El Gindi with the second degree merit of honor and coaches of medal winners were also honored. The head of state expressed his full support to provide all necessary capabilities for all age groups of Egyptian athletes to ensure they continue to attain more achievements and raise the name of Egypt high in international forums. Later in a tweet on his social media account, the president said he honored his sons and daughters, the heroes of Egypt, for their great achievement during the Olympic Games, calling them role models in strength and determination and excellence. President Sisi thanked the champions and asked them to get ready for an even greater achievement in the next Olympics. The president gave his directives on Tuesday to accurately revise all technical and construction works related to Decent Life Initiative for Egypt, developing Egyptian countryside. The president instructed to carry out such procedures through the aid of big and specialized consultative bureaus to guarantee a best performance and implementation level in accordance with modern criteria for all sectors of the initiative. The announcement was made by presidential spokesman Bassem Rodi. Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli reiterated on Tuesday that President Sisi is keen on boosting ties with Somalia and extending all means of support for the Horn of the African country. Speaking during a meeting with visiting Somali Prime Minister Mohamed Robli in Cairo, Madbouli praised steps taken by Somalia to boost bilateral ties in various domains. The Premier expressed his keenness on expanding cooperation with Somalia in all fields, especially trade and economic ones. For his part, the Somali Premier expressed hope for the activation of memos of understanding covering the fields of technical and vocational support for cadres across Somali institutions, expressing his keenness on enhancing cooperation with Egypt in the field of education, pointing out to Somalia's need for support in the health sector. Minister of Education Tariq Shawi held a press conference earlier today with Higher Education Minister Khaled Abdel Ghaffar. During the conference, the results of the National High School Certificate for 2020-2021 student year was endorsed. Names of high achievers and university admission grades were also announced, confirming that this year's Thanawe Amma class is historic and deserves praise. Shawi said 74% of the students passed their exams, adding that the faculties of medicine and engineering would have space for students who scored at least 90%. Noting that his ministry has a gigantic operation room for the correction of the exams, ministers stressed that the new system had succeeded in assessing levels of students, adding that results would be available on many internet sites later in the day. According to Minister Shawi, a link will be provided for presenting complaints and correction requests and that the ministry will respond to the request within a week. For his part, Minister Abdullah Far announced around 307 educational institutions would admit this year's student, adding that the first phase of the university admissions would start this Thursday. Abdel Ghaffar said there is a steep decline in the minimum scores for university's admission in line with the result levels decline. Welcome back. Egyptian expat uh, remittances witnessed an increase of 13% in the first 10 months, July to May of uh, 2020 and 2021, compared to the same period of fiscal year 2019 to 20, to reach $28.5 billion, growing by $3.3 billion. The Central Bank of Egypt announced on Tuesday that the expat remittances uh, jumped in May to $2.6 billion, up from $1.8 billion in the same month of 2020, increasing by an annual rate of 45.2%. Egyptian expats uh, are the key source for hard currency for the country, besides the Suez Canal export and tourism sector revenues. 
Egypt's stock market indices are mixed amid purchase operations from the local and foreign investors uh, met with a selling operations of local investors and Arab individuals. The benchmark Egypt 30 index lost 1% going below 11,940 points. The Egypt 70 EWI index and the Egypt 100 EWI index rose by 0.9% and 1.3%.